Here's a Phoenix 2 original and um, just to show how the delay sounds compared to the 2D. As the longest delay I get without applying any CV, any voltage in the CV input is the longest I get. Sounds like this. Actually quite nice. You hear a high pitch tone. The higher you get, the highest the whistle is, is present uh, from the BBD. But it's quite a decent delay. I like it pretty much and it's really the the character of the BBD, you know like like a bit crunchy, I don't know how you say exactly, but... Um, let me apply some FM. So the whistle is... you hear the whistle pretty good, I guess. Now, applying some CV, negative CV to it. Negative because I'm on minus one volt here. So you hear how it sounds. It doesn't matter what is happening in the patch. You see I'm applying some CV, huh? So this is on the Phoenix 2. Now I'm going to take exactly the same signal going into the delay and sending to the 2D delay input and I'm taking exactly the same voltage, send it to the CV in of the delay and I take the delay output of the 2D. I'm going to show you. Same signal going into and the output goes to the mixer so we can hear it. There is a different circuit for the delay on the 2D with the switch in three positions. Uh, let's take the signal without the CV, the voltage applied to the CV input. Here you hear the original signal mixed to the wet signal. So it's like a mix of both or well, let's say wet and dry. I forgot to say that on the Phoenix 2 I will check the trimming in the back to see if I get different delay or not, but I might leave it like this, I'm not sure here, as it was do-it-yourself, I just trimmed it the best way I could. So this is a short delay. Middle length. And longer delay. So you see without any CV applied it's quite a decent delay. On the 2D, it's different, as said. Now, if I apply this voltage in the CV input, at the time you hear the whistle, it's really, really annoying. <laughs> 
so you can't just apply the same signal same CV so it doesn't work it's but it makes it way longer the delay but the whistle is it's too high so you need to go through a filter and you will lose a lot of high frequencies of course until you really lower down the higher pitch the higher whistle sound so this is when I apply the same signal as on the Phoenix 2 like you saw before so I added this equalizer here you know do you see it? No, we don't see it. Oops. I added an equalizer on the... on top here and because I didn't use it and I repaired it, I thought, oh yeah, let's, feel, let's use it just for the delay. Use one channel for the delay and take just the IF frequency down, you know, but it doesn't really... it's not really efficient. It takes a lot of the signal out and we still can hear the, <laughs> the whistle, so it's not really the best. You see, even if I take all the highest frequencies... Oops, this is level, sorry. It's still here, so it's not... Equalizer is not the solution. Let me show you how it, will, it would sound in a filter. Let's take a low pass, so it's just let the low frequency pass by so you can take the the higher whistle out of the way but then you lose a lot of high frequencies as I said still it's a possibility then of course the volume is really lowered then 